And that lesson, Jeremy, especially in an armed society like the United States, is that confrontation can turn deadly. And legally, in each case, the circumstances are very important. Police and prosecutors in the Mile High City accused him of murder in the second degree, but now former 9 News security guard Matthew Doloff will not have to face a jury. The reason, self-defense. That it's the prosecutor's obligation to disprove self-defense. And noting Lee Keltner was the initial aggressor, that was something Denver's DA felt she could not do. DA Beth McCann's office says, quote, as the case progressed and a full analysis of the case details, including materials provided by defense counsel, was made, prosecutors realized that they would not be able to prove that Mr. Doloff did not have the right to use deadly force to defend himself and others. The law of self-defense is very clear. You may stand your ground. Um, and you have no duty to retreat. Criminal defense attorney Chris Decker says you may meet unlawful violence with the type and degree of force that is reasonably necessary under the circumstances. If someone pushes you, you probably can't pull out a gun and shoot them. Lee Keltner's sister says her family is upset by the DA's decision. We don't understand why it's taken 17 months to come to this conclusion. Nothing's changed. DA McCann shared her personal opinion Monday, saying in part, quote, while I do not agree with Mr. Doloff's decision to use lethal force, the fact remains he had the right to do so under our law. I do not believe violence and guns have any place at a peaceful protest. We do have a lot of weapons in this society. We have folks who are openly carrying, and we also have people who are certified to carry as concealed weapons. And the fact that Doloff was a security guard could have made a difference in this case. Decker says that prosecutors will keep that in mind because of the extra training that they receive and perhaps some extra analysis before pulling that trigger. We're live in Denver tonight, not far from where that shooting happened. I'm Michael Konoposik, Fox 31.